you snag these bushes and don't make a clean entry, that's gonna be rough. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. We were not born to just pay bills and die. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today we're gonna to be exploring one of my remote gold claims to see if we can find new areas to hunt for future videos and to pretty much enjoy this not so summery weather and find as much gold as we can in the process. So let's go. Nice. So I brought a lovely helper here today. He's gonna to help me carry all the heavy gear. Heavy! Thank you. <laughs> I didn't see much happening here. All right, so since I've already established that there's a lot of gold on this creek, I'm trying to think of like ideal spots to make other videos. Like here, there's a lot of water. And I know I can jump in the water and do some sniping. There's some spots to do some scuba diving. So I think the first thing I want to do is get into a wetsuit, jump in, and hopefully find a little bit of gold before we start the other tests. So let's do it! Yeah, not a water slide, you want to go down there. I don't know if I got paid enough for this car. Are you sure? I'm going to be okay here? When you have a gold claim with cliffs on it, you got to jump off the cliff. Whoa. What a crazy person. You snag these bushes and don't make a clean entry, that's gonna be rough. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. Woo. <laughs> You're crazy. Okay, you just... So I just found our first piece of gold in this area, and yes, I brought tweezers. <laughs> Looking for gold underwater is one of the best ways to test out a new spot. And if you stick to the cracks, you will increase your luck by a million billion percent. Sometimes you will spend more time moving gravel than finding gold, but sometimes it pays off. Since there isn't a lot of water flow, the visibility gets bad after you stir up the silt. Floating down a river effortlessly is something I will never get sick of. And when you don't bring your weights to keep you down, you just gotta improvise. In this spot, I'm just looking for shallow gravel where the bedrock isn't deep. If I can find that, I'll look for cracks the next time I'm here. Uh, 
So I found a really deep pothole where the gravel was next to impossible to remove. Spots like these can be great gold traps if the bottoms aren't smooth or if the gold is big and heavy enough not to get blown out. Once I got to the bottom, I noticed it was actually really smooth. So I just had a quick fan to see if there was any flakes in the dust. Unfortunately, nothing but light sand. All right, so with a little testing I just did up here, this is the candy we found so far. Not tea bag. We're definitely on the right track. For sure, I'm gonna come back to the spot at a later date and spend more time working the cracks and seeing what else we can find. But quickly, I'm gonna scuba dive that pool that you see behind me because I'm pretty sure that second pool right there is the deepest hole in all this river and possibly all, all of the, the land. land. And because why not? on these, these boots. So as deep as this pool is, it's a real possibility you could uncover something really good. But also because it's deep and hard to get to, the chances of others looking here are next to none. After spending about 15 minutes down here, I quickly learned that I need a dive light to even see the gold, and I'm gonna have to move a lot of big boulders if I plan on testing further. If you have an idea where this piece of steel came from, let me know in the comments. Unfortunately, my camera kept dying while I was down there, but I did manage to get a few more shots of the fish. And they're gone. It's time to get out, but you can guarantee I'll be back. <laughs> For sure, if I was able to remove all the boulders down there, we would find some serious gold. I did manage to find some nice looking crevices to work for next time, but unfortunately, my, go my handheld camera died, so I'm just gonna have to show you that when the time comes. For, uh, for now, I'm gonna take this metal detector and go see if I can find a nugget or two, or three, or five. Uh, 
That's a signal, it means lunchtime, let's put it all away. <laughs> Target is in here, but it's very shallow, which means it's probably just gonna be wire. Gosh, you're awful at this one. I don't think it's gold. What's this? Oh yeah, look at that. Piece of wire and rust. <laughs> Woohoo! We're poor, baby! <laughs> okay, moving on. So, I deleted about two hours of finding nails. You're welcome. So there's all sorts of signals going on in this corner. Okay, look at it. You got a packed rock in here. That's always an indicator that nobody has been here before. Look at that little... <laughs> that is cool. Look at that. A little piece of gold. A little piece of candy. Nope. <laughs> it almost looks too small to actually make a signal. A little one. Okay, I can't forget it, so... Now, just want to scoop it all out. Yes! What's your bet? Gold, a piece of wire, rust, lead. Well, right away, there's a little piece of gold in there. When you find gold, it's a good sign that there might be gold around. Oh wow, it was, okay. That is actually pretty good. We have a fired bullet, another fired piece of lead, and a tiny piece of candy. Other than the other one that we found that I put in my, my water bottle. Sweet, let's find more. So the sound of that signal was either, like I'm pretty sure the signal was just these both, just these both, was these pieces of lead. When you find heavy metals, chances are you're gonna find gold probably with it because they travel along the same path. So if you're finding lead and you're finding nails in the river, work there, you're probably gonna find gold too. It's, the, it's all about weight and fluid dynamics. I'm gonna keep looking around this area and hopefully find a 40 pound nugget. Yeah. So it has been, I, I don't know, all day. I, have, I haven't been keeping track. I'm sorry, I haven't been keeping track, everybody. We have found gold downstream while sniping underwater, but very briefly, so we know we can come back down there and make a whole new video out of that. We have also found nice looking crevices deeper in the pools over there, which again, unfortunately, my camera did not pick up. So that's another potential video. And of course, we found a lot of gold, well, some gold, while well, bent, well, bleh, while metal detecting along here along these benches so that's another potential video so we have three potential videos to do in the future <sighs> i'm exhausted if you can't already tell and it's getting late in the day so it is time for us to go back to the house and uh see what we have just like that we're back at base camp so today was a successful day we found three new areas we can go make future videos in the future future and uh, including that deep pool which i believe would hold some big gold if i was superman and can remove those big boulders at the bottom. So this is actually pretty awesome, given that this was just a day of testing. We went looking for gold and we found it. I also noticed this bigger piece here has some quartz in it, which I find just awesome. And of course, we find lead, we take it out. All right, let's weigh it, starting with our massive nugget. It's obviously gonna be 10 grams, I know it. 0.16. <laughs> and for our smaller bits, Come on, baby. 11 ounces, 0.48, so half a gram. So half a gram of gold isn't bad because it's better than no gram of gold. <laughs> Since starting Pioneer Poly, I've had a lot of requests that I set something up where you guys can invest in the channel. You see where this is going. <laughs> I've always turned this down because I don't want your money. I don't want nothing to do with it. However, 
lit. <laughs> However, hear me out. If I can do it in a way where that money goes directly back in the channel and not in my pocket, I could provide more videos, exclusive content, merchandise, giveaways, and much more. So I'm working on something right now, and I think if I can pull it off, you guys will really enjoy it. We'll see. But until then, if you want to see exclusive content now, feel free to follow me on my social media or subscribe to this channel or follow me if you're watching this on Facebook. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen and grizzly.